there be a secret boat with an oar. That's way too small. It's technically surreal, though. Makes me think of Atsuko. I don't know what the hell that means, but okay. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. This <laughs> is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Uh-huh. Another person who says, It cannot be helped. Still. I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. Yeah, so... Wait, what? I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. I gotta say, though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the Tenryo Commission's. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. Uh oh. Hyman feels really worried all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe it does. But I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. So you're gonna accept the consequences if anything goes wrong? My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them. And whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And <laughs> anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaboration. We're chased by the Oh uh, 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 no! We're chased by the Millilith and Leeway too. Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. Anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken more third from the Naganoharas. Who's third sis? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends. But eventually, they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. Mm -hmm. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in- That's right. Okay. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> They were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. After that, he hardly saw them. But whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Okay. And I'm also a little bit tired from just doing the filler quest. Yeah. No I'm barely... How close yeah. you your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. Okay. But as soon as the fireworks lit up to right. us, those memories are eternal. Just like Inazuma, the god of eternity. Also, I'm getting tired. I barely have any witty comments at this point. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Just like Jean. Anyway, I need to go update Sakajiro. See you, Koichi. Yeah, I should get out of here, too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Why, you want to get caught blue-handed? Shut up. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the fence. Oh god, I'm stuck in the tree. <laughs> One time, Shut up. Shut up. Shut your god. Damn. Mouth. Shush. Shut. The boat is already and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. God, you mean it never shuts up. After how much effort it took to get back People in, don't like... Oop. It's hard to convince myself to leave. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. People don't like this quest especially. <sighs> I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. Eh, well, technically, he's going to be on a boat in the storm. So the problems are going to be on him, and he, you're not going to be able to do a thing. But 
Tenryo Commission does catch up to you, then make a run for the boat. Okay, I won't let them catch me, but... No, I guess this whole trip was a waste at the end. I guess it wasn't good in the first place. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. But looking back on things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Usually, like I've heard stories from people in Japan where sometimes they just want to be able to get out of Japan. It's more like a just travel the world thing and get away from everybody instead of running away from responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I... Ah, forget it. What does it matter now? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna bring it up. Actually, never mind. I'm not gonna bring it up. Talk to us about it. No, nah, he's not gonna do it. If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Yeah. Imagine if I had to deal with the Raiden Shogun. But anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission. If only they weren't so overzealous. Oh, that's right. The elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryu Commission, isn't it? Oh god, she never shuts up! That's it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice. All right, you should get back indoors, Akajiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go! Time waits for no one! Okay, and basically it's like, there's no time to waste! Let's go! What about the fireworks? All those materials? Do it! Pots? Then do the oh, orders. Never mind. Oh, I know! Then do it. Swiftly finish the paper slip. Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? She's in a big chatterbox. <clears throat> what do you expect? She never shuts up. <clears throat> Alright, uh, visit the old couple, ask for their help. <clears throat> Well, if it isn't Yoi Mia, come on in, dear. Come and are these two your friends? Yes, they're travelers from afar. Outsiders have a very difficult time getting into Inazuma. Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Didn't we see you before? And yeah, it's like you just forgot about us. Didn't we talk to these people before? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I brought the fireworks that you ordered. Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every- I wonder if I'll still be around to see the next hair of Naganahara fireworks. Wait, what? He said, I wonder if I'll still be around, but the text said, I wonder if I'll still be alive. Huh. That's weird. Of course you will. You're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. Right. Uh, we aren't. I just want to die. <laughs> were, though. The body knows it. Right. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further. I wouldn't be able to get back up again. For some odd reason, listening to these this old couple is way more comfortable than listening to her. <laughs> no worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. You say no more. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. Shut up. I just haven't had much time with It's Shut no up. trouble, really. We don't mind help. Oh, you're such good kids. As for you mine, mean or Paimon. he's all grown what up. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> if you're quite sure it's no trouble, then... Sure, it won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid Fine, do it. Slash the weeds, this one. Who's yapping do you think is worse? Uh, Yomiya. As much as I get after Paimon, Paimon has some good points, but she never, like, talks all the time. Yomiya just never shuts up. 
Uh, where's the other we here? A few moments later. Yeah, you got it. And that should sure. just about do it. <sighs> so that's was on the other side of the village. Let's go see him now. Fine. <clears throat> Fine. Here. Hey, Toru. How have you been? Keeping well? Yes. Yeah, same as usual. Not much has changed. You're looking full of life. Yes. As always. <laughs> Thanks to the support of our loyal customers. But the only bit we sold some fireworks to Liu at a while back, and word is they were a real hit. So it looks like we'll be getting more business from over there in the future. How? You're in the Sokoku decree. Unless fireworks or some other uh like items are allowed to get around the Sokoku decree. But it's like the country is closed off. How are you able to do business? When you're not allowed to bring anything in or out! That must mean a lot more work for you, though. Are you sure you and Mr. Ryunosuke can manage? She can, but she never shuts up about it. Is she your least favorite character in the game? I don't know, maybe Yoi Mia? If it gets too much, I don't forget, you can always ask me for help. We should be fine. I th oh, yeah, um, this. Oh, wow, thank you so much. I never used to be a fan of pickled radish, would you believe? Uh, why else would you take it? Who's your favorite then? I don't know. But then who do I hate the most? Or who do I hate the least? It's a family staple now. Who should I look at the wrong way? Who who's on my nerves? Speaking of your family, how's everyone doing? <laughs> uh, They're doing well. We have the occasional heated argument, but I guess that's every family ever. Yes, it is almost every family. When has there not been an argument at the Thanksgiving table over a political discussion? Being close to family is better than never getting to see them. Even if it does mean putting up with some conflict. Yes, even if it means that I don't give a shit about my family. Also, my face is being covered up by your squid. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Imatani you already know my favorite. <laughs> but still, uh, they must get lonely with their child never visiting. Farina? No. Who was it? There was another character. Bar? Because she has like an annoying, like singing voice, like idol chat. Hmm. You didn't seem that way to me. You make a good point, though. I should drop by more often in the future. That way, they won't get so bored. They will get bored. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. As would all of us in Konda Village. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You. That I was free. Ah, uh, younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been fifty years this year. It's been so long since we've done anything. Oh, so it has. Fifty years since what? Some important day. I can only assume since they were married. <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over. Oh, stop trying to impress them. <laughs> we both know you were the one who was- Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. 50 years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. Even as it was rising up into the sky, but then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it. And, well, she'd said yes. Fifty okay. years. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Fifty really, years you had to put up with each other. But fifty <clears throat> years of being together... Now that is something worth commemorating. Fifty years of putting up with each other's shit. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. Oh no, it's quite alright. We always set off the same firework every year. We it never get bored of it. Without it. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Ah, oh, what a great relationship they have. Yes. <laughs> Enough about us, though. Yoimiya, 
Aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Okay. Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Yumiya tells Yumante to Sakujiro. Sakujiro. So he came back. Yes, and now he has to leave again. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Hmm. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful, and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like. And they get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. Hmm. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but he didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Because he probably doesn't know how to do it? Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. He if it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One I never would imagine. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. Yeah, because that's a uh, that's a problem. I don't think you can solve. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. Why were they arguing in the first place? I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. I would agree, but each must come to each other on their own terms. <laughs> hey, is that him on the rocks over there? Mia, something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinrio Commission came by. Oh, he got arrested! Huh? Why? Do they know? Pops, are you alright? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Luckily, mm. Sakujiro mm. heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Do you guys name Good point. names? Names. We think the commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. <sighs> Sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I'd caught their names. <sighs> but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did. <laughs> but I did! Walks in the one person who did. <laughs> I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Oh, God. Keisuke is looking for Sakujiro. Just as I thought. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, we can't let that happen. Come with me. Are they going to have to talk to each other? Oh, Saka and his friends. Let's ask them. Oh, Hi, yeah. Mia. Are the weapons to scare away the great Mujina yokai ready yet? Ah, oh, damn it, not this again. Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them ready. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? No. I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now, but I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the one you- Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Yep, we did. It looks like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? We will. We'll be on our best behavior. I really wonder. But at the same time, who cares? Let's keep going. 
If Sakuchiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! There are people from the Tenryo Commission over there! It must be them! Hmm... Keisuke? Mm. Sorry, it's official business. I can't let you pass. Why? Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. What if we do? Ugh, what a nuisance! Well, you've only got yourself to play! Oh god, we gotta fight them. We gotta fight every single one of them. Fire hazard! I'm not sure we can hit super fast. Hmm. Okay, uh... Come on, can I aim? Yes, I can. Headshot! So... Ow. Headshot! Dang. Ooh. Headshot! Headshot! And shot. <laughs> I must do things, but can't do things. Dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? Well, I just did. You will be punished for your actions. Yes, I will. There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world. Mm. <sighs> Look at that. The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. Hmm. We can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Also, what is with that energy circle? Is that supposed to be the jellyfish or what? <laughs> Probably. Is that Keisuke and Sakujiro? <laughs> Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I... If this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Mm. Okay. Whatever you say. Right, when he's pissed off like that, anything automatically confirms what he says. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission <laughs> to await your sentence. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Hmm. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this! Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. Mm -hmm. It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? Why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? Because maybe Sakajiro wanted to talk to Keisuke. I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There was never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. Hmm. What are you talking about? Just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Uh, don't flatter yourself. What would you know? You were friends a while back. You used to be great friends and you let a grudge get between you. Noemiya, leave it. <laughs> it was just my wishful- No, I won't leave it! I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything, Keisuke! You seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, then you will say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your... And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If 
I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Yulimiya! I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. Mm. Sir, we're here to back you up. No, you're gonna call back. We can't let her fight them all alone. Come on, rapid fire. So she's way out. Way better than. Hey, Bryce. You can't come in here, can you? <laughs> no, they wouldn't do one of them. Okay, hey, Bryce, the water. Oh, you're gonna keep spawning. Are more gonna spawn? No? Good. Sir, they are too strong. We need more men. Stand down. What? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Hmm. Your Taki leaves in a panic. Young lady. You are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Why were you? She's a machine gun. Why were you s wanting to see Sakujiro personally yourself and leave your men behind? Because Sakujiro <laughs> may have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? The reason I came back is that... <sighs> I felt lost. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. You wanted to talk to Keisuke. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. He had all left a deep impression on me. But it never seemed to hit hard as Japan land. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. Yeah, but you gotta do something about the Sokoku Decree. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here. No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. <sighs> After all, you never ran away. Huh? Well, I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. <clears throat> it was like fate was calling me and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. Mm. But now, my role is to punish violators of the Sakoku Decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? Hmm. Are we really doing the right thing when all we do is just punish people non-stop? That's something to think about. 
The boat is yours. <laughs> He's gonna allow him to leave. Uh huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher ups? He's gonna get punished. Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. For me out there. He didn't say that part. Why are there several lines missing from this story? And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Uh, okay. <laughs> don't worry, Keisuke. Also, why does the water texture keep changing every time the camera changes? Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Mm. Maybe next time. Right. Boat departs and unscribble silence. <sighs> I'll be demoted for sure. Yeah, unless we do something about the higher up. It's not like me to give in the childish sentiment like this. I can't explain what. It's the one that Sakujiro was <laughs> using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. <laughs> Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. <laughs> it's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. Mm. But I think you did the right thing. And look, <coughs> now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. Yeah, and by doing the right thing, you get hated by the higher-ups. But at the same time, it's still the right thing. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. I, it's really hard to believe, considering the fact that she never shuts up. <laughs> Because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. Mmm, okay. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but you live up to the family name. Well, what do you expect? The maker of fireworks. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakachiro is the one with the slip. So no, if you ever want that fireworks done, you better talk to Sakajiro. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakujiro probably won't be needing his anymore. Thank you very much. No worries. And don't miss out on the start of the firework show. Oh, God. <laughs> the way you took command of that whole situation was amazing! Yeah, because she soloed everybody. What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. And you like to fight. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. I really feel like this is like, it kind of speaks to me in a way. I don't know, maybe it speaks to you. She indeed loves to talk. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it speaks to you, Patrick, but that's a whole story for another time. Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My box will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you. Hmm. So you're gonna the fireworks, go watch the fireworks show. Where is it? All the way up there? Oh god, I gotta go all the way up there. Back at the frickin' festival thing yet again. But not with Kamisato, but instead, we are here with Yoimiya. Oh, God. <laughs> huh? I feel like this is a scene you may have showed me, Patrick. Maybe a while back. It's... Keisuke. Keisuke. 
Chemicals. You know, shush. Let her shush. Let her not talk anymore. The fact that she's watching says a lot. <laughs> that was amazing. It was so beautiful, I could weep. It was so amazing, it literally shut you up for a few seconds. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty eyed. It was pretty. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? No. That's the one I had pop. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression no matter where your journey takes you, and I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful. Yomiya's story quest is so much better than this quest. Hmm. Maybe. I might check it out later, but one story quest at a time. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, Thank you for the firework. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Hmm. Maybe that's why her dad went deaf. Because he got too damn close to the fireworks and it screwed up his hearing. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Mm-hmm. Good. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You asked me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. And basically, it's like a projection of the self. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakichiro, they were commemorating... Beliefs. Oh yeah, right, beliefs! As for me... <laughs> Sakichiro was like an escapist, and Keisuke is like an endurus. He always endured everything and never ran away from it. <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Hmm... Hmm. Right, and the difference between you and your father, your father is deaf and tries to listen to everything, and you never shut up! Seriously? Oh, I was expecting something deep and philosophical. Sometimes it isn't always deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our Shogun desires. I really wonder, and speaking of, the Shogun is brought up again. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. That's another if kind of eternity. If you to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't mm. ex Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. Uh huh. Now we're done! Yes! We are done! Feel this, this sublimation of the shadow. Ooh. Is this? Oh god. Try to be in What do you think of the quest? It was filler. It was fetch quest. Yomiya wouldn't shut up. It was okay in certain parts. There were stories relating to other people. Uh, people. Uh, resolved friendship. Old couple living together for 50 years. Uh, father and daughter completely different. Other people also have differences. Who knows? I don't know. Ooh, admit stormy judgment. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, and I also know what you mean, Patrick. I'm going to have to stop here. I'm going to take a break. I'll get to this quest tomorrow. Because I know I went to face the wrath and shit again. And I want to see how, how far this one goes. So in the meantime, I got to get going. Next time it will be the Inazuma Archon quest. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, I need to stop here. And I will see everybody tomorrow. All right. Oh, I am in her ire. Ooh, it begins. It begins. Oh, crap. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do.